It's happening. Here we go. All right. Well, we've come to closure. Huh? And here we go. The adventure continues. My brother doesn't want really to be videoed, so I'm not showing my brother. But we've already taken the... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll break that. Don't do that. Let's just move your bike out of the way. The uh, the Honda CB1000R is at my brother's house. It ain't going to work. It's not going to work to put them back in my truck. And on top of that, the ramp that he has, the uh, rear back tire, is way too wide. It's an old... My old... Yamaha YZ125 ramp from back in the 70s, aluminum ramp. You're going to see it here in a second. And, you know, once again, the uh, th that ramp would be way too dangerous, so forget it. I'm just going to leave my CV1000R down here, and we're not trying to load up the, uh, the Honda Monkey. There she is. Got the monkey eight in the bed, which I think that's a much better idea this time. And now we're gonna get the trailer. It's a long day, man. Yikes. How about that? You know what? Should we raise up that ball? That Hurley? Need more weight? Probably should. It's gonna put a lot of extra weight in this. Well, I think we better raise this up one more notch because that Harley is like 500 pounds more in this trailer. And I really think what's going to happen is this truck, the monkey in the back, and then the Harley, I think it's going to push it down further. So I think we should go up one notch. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. In the Hellcat engine motor. How about that, huh? Well, I think you need to come back a little bit. Yeah, we'll fix it. It'll, it'll fall on it. See there? There she goes. Yeah, she says she's already a trailer. Good job. Yeah, so you can even see no weight in this thing. This thing's about level. So, yeah, even to a point, probably should have gone up two more. We can always adjust it. Look at the view. Now, for my sister who lives here, you know, what a view until they build the house. It looks like they're getting ready to do something, too. Let's see how good the kid is. Let's see how good she is. So they were crisscrossed. It's supposed to crisscross them. So you, you need to take that. It's supposed to be crisscrossed. Now you got too many twists. You got too many twists, baby. That's good. Perfect. Then twist it. No, twist it a little bit because it's going to be uh, dragging. You got to twist it. Because the other chain's going to be putting weight on it. There you go. That's good. Perfect. Okay. Let's see how good she is. Let's see how proficient she's getting with all this trailering. And uh, so here you go. No, nope, put it like this here. There you go. Okay. Good job. Plug it. Perfect. Okay. Now is that... You need to come up a little bit with that. Yep. Because if you go across like a... We go through a parking lot that has a low line area with that Harley in there that thing will drag and just tear it all up perfect are right, you good it'll hit this now first all right feel good nope we didn't have any it's so level here I didn't jog it all right here we are getting gas how's the monkey looking how's she feel up here at Walmart, I'm just getting plus. You just start burning through this stuff, I ain't buying premium. 362 premium, 342, 89, 322, no lead. So uh, how's the truck and trailer look? Probably have to add, look at that there. So that's incredible, incredible how that got nailed. 
That was with the electric truck. When I did a tow video with my electric truck in the summer of 2022. I guarantee that tire is low. Everything looks pretty good. And then hopefully, hopefully the install of the bikes goes pretty quick. Hopefully. Oh. Now what do I load? A Harley up front, Harley further back. I don't know. You know, in some ways, you think about it, if I was really creative, you could probably put a bike up front here. And if you step this back further and that a little further, you could possibly do three bikes in this trailer. So in hindsight, I probably could make that work. But I have to redo all the chalks. Eh, it's too much time, too much work. And I'm really having to leave sooner because of my guy up north is very sick. <laughs> so actually, if anyone watched my he actually texted me after my video this morning and his whole family has COVID. So he's done. And he's bummed because he wasn't gonna work for me one more day. Which if he would have worked today for me, then I probably wouldn't have head back until Wednesday or Thursday. But now it's like forget it. Anyways, that's what's going on. And I've been with my brother. I took my brother over to get some argon gas argon gas and bought him a uh, a uh, 125 pound tank of argon gas and bought us some Costco food and try to take care of him, help him out because he helps me out a lot. And uh, but he hates being videoed, so I'm just not gonna. Brother can't stand being on my YouTube channel, he just doesn't like it. So forget it. He just is like, turn that thing off, man. And now, odds are we'll probably get rained on putting the bikes in, but eh, whatever. It's Florida. It's the beautiful Florida, and it's hot, but it's always hot down here. Nothing really unusual. Listen to this bad boy, huh? Yeah, so how many... This will probably be a 80 or $90... Well, probably because it's a $100 bill. It's probably take 20, 25 gallons. I ran her down pretty low, but I'm trying to get her all filled up because if up the street, I go somewhere else in the morning, I'll be paying conservative 20 40 cent more a gallon. They're at $85. Oh, it's never simple. Never simple. So what are we going to do here? We're going to move my dad's car back a little bit so we can get the bikes out of here and then go load them up in the trailer on the street. I think that's probably the better idea. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, the kid. I think she's kind of confused. I think it's no, that bike has no turning radius. None at all. So I think you should have moved your Harley out of the way. Where's the key to that? Do you have the key to the bike? No. You're not doing, yeah, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Okay, the kid's saying she take this over the Harley, and I'm thinking, well, Because it's yeah, just lighter. But, you ready? Start her up. Kid wants to do a Harley, but <laughs> you got a nah. That's not gonna work, baby. What? It's not gonna work. Let me help you. All right, good lord. The work.
turn on this bike, come on up here. Yeah. You gotta do. Oh, I was wondering this. You gotta do turn on the ignition. Yeah. And then turn it off. And then hold down and then the. Then hold your buttons down, your turn signals down, till you see three flashes. One, two, three. Okay. So now the battery won't die. Now the bike alarm won't be going off if you go down the road. All right, this is always the challenge. How you how you strap these bikes down? Every bike, nope, 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 nope. It's a laying on the ground over there. Got one in the back. Got a ton of straps laying around. Mm -hmm. Here's one. Here's one. Perfect. Perfect. So now we got to figure out what makes sense on where you're strapping this thing. <laughs> For years, I've caught up front. And I don't like that. So we got to think this through. All right, woo, man almighty. Yeah, I went to the crash bars. Some probably say don't do it, I don't care. We're replacing those anyways. All right, now we're to the back. Always gotta strap down this back tire. Otherwise, it's a major problem. So, there you go. You're getting it. You didn't put it on valve stem, right? You made sure you didn't put it on the valve stem. <laughs> you better make sure of that. At least that's a dish, that's a major expenditure. Got the bikes loaded, strapped. I think we're good. Any luck? This all stays the same when we get home, right? All right. So the trailer, by lifting that a notch, I think I kept the trailer really. Proportional cam size. Anybody the trailers out there, you know, when you get that distribution of weight heavy on that front tire, and and the trailer's bowing down, it's the worst. It's wearing out your front tire. The vehicle doesn't handle as well, and the truck's squatting, but the trailer looks good. So raising that up one notch, and I put the Harley further back. If I would have put the Harley further forward, I think it'd be a problem. But then the question is, the way you proportion the weight. Does the trailer track correctly? And you won't know that until you're going down the road. And trust me, I've had to pull over the side of the road and re-distribute uh, the bikes more than once. So tomorrow, until I'm up the road doing 60, 70 miles an hour, I'll just have to assume that we got it right. All right, good news is we knocked that out pretty quickly. The day's passing. Still a ton of stuff to do. And, you know, but what happens is the time you get done doing all this stuff, but tomorrow morning, and a roll out of your, you know, by Wednesday, your body's just like, man, I want a time out. That's just kind of what happens. And everybody's getting sick. I'm getting sick. I think my daughter and I sincerely thought this morning, I had something going on this morning. I didn't say it on my YouTube channel this morning, but oh my gosh, man, it was bad. I felt terrible. But we kind of worked through it, but still something's going on. So who the hell knows? All right, stay tuned for more conversation. And shabang, shaboom, poof, it's all gone. The shop is empty. The garage is empty. The truck is packed up. The charger is packed up. Wow, what a long day. Good Lord. I mean, what a long day. And I've even got a longer day tomorrow. We got the monkey. who are all packed up to a degree. I still have to load stuff. But for the moment, we're good. Moment, I think we're good. Got everything loaded up, bike secured. But once again, tomorrow's another day. So I just wanted to make a video sharing us getting ready to, which is hard to believe that we left here three weeks ago, or you came down here three weeks ago, Thursday. So we're just leaving really about, I guess, in some ways one day early, because we're leaving Tuesday instead of Wednesday, or two days early. But we've had a great time, and my mom and dad are doing good for the most part, feel good about everything, and I got a lot of support here. So uh, stay tuned for the adventures of heading back home tomorrow and hope we get out of here at a decent time and get it back up in Virginia because tomorrow at this time we'll probably just be hitting the Virginia line and we'll have Kiefer Dog back with us which will be pretty cool so and I checked all the tire pressures and we're all good to go to get out of here to have a safe trip back home and that's the goal and I got the bikes in here and they're all secured and Got my tools, and I think we're okay. And I got smart this time. The monkey, the monkey went in the bed of the truck. <laughs> Forget that, trying to strap it down the back. And that's with that CB1000R. I could probably angle it in here, 
But you have that front up there, that roll up. I don't know how that would play out. And it's just too risky. If that bike fell over, it'd be a disaster. I mean, it's just it's just not worth it. Plus, you didn't really have the right ramp to put it in. And it's okay. We'll be back. Next time I come down, I'll probably bring my F450 and bring the bigger trailer and bring more, more toys down. I'll bring my Harleys down next time and have a great another Florida adventure, which will probably come down here, you know, probably August would be my guess. I don't think we'll be back here in July. So, uh, hey, got some nice truck uh, bicycles that I never use anymore. I really should clean these things up, give them away, or get something for them, right? Somebody really enjoy those things, I'm sure of that. So, uh, yeah, and if I was down here longer in local, and I knew I could help somebody out, and here's a set of golf clubs. I mean, for me as an individual, if I can help others out, I would do that. And I'm sincere on that. So anyways, but I'm gone. So <laughs> you reach out to me now, but I'm gone. Can't deal with that. Maybe next time. So please, thanks for watching my channel. God bless. Have a great evening. And am I tired? I am. I really am. I'm exhausted. So I need to get revved up and recharged up for a long day tomorrow. So wow. Thanks for watching.